Hey, Slippers. Oh, what's up, Cheryl? I see you're interested in buying some engineered fuel. Yeah, there's so many to choose from. I don't know which one to get. And I'm looking for something that burns clean. Hey, you know what? I got an idea. Why don't we do a test to see which one burns the cleanest? Oh, that'd be fun. Would that help you make a decision on which one to buy? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, stay here. What the heck are you doing, Pop? I'm doing an experiment. An experiment on what? On some fuel. Engineered fuel, I need one more plate. What are you talking about? Hey, 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 what are you doing? I was eating off of that. I need this too. What does that got to do with the fuel experiment? You'll see. Now you're just being a jerk. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's still good. Pterodactyl here. And today we're going to do what's called a burn test on all these engineered fuels to see which one burns the cleanest. Oh yeah, I want to see which one so I know which one to buy. So we got all these different products and we're also going to use regular ethanol pump fuel too in our test. So the first one we're going to do is true fuel. I'm going to take a small amount of this fuel, roughly 5 cc's. I'm going to pour a little in this cap. We're going to pour it on this plate. Well, that didn't burn very clean. No, I see a lot of black smoke there. All right, let's try another one. Let's try the VP. Stand back. Huh. Well, that didn't burn very clean either. Yeah, looks like about the same as the last one. That even looks dirtier than the other two. Now the Moto Mix. Get those ashes on there. That one burned pretty clean. Yeah, smoke wasn't as bad on that one either. Next to Toro, all season fuel. Now keep in mind, these are all 50 to one two stroke fuels that we're testing. Pretty dirty, a lot of smoke, a lot of soot. Now the Echo Red Armor. Another thing to note, these octane ratings differ from each product from 92 octane to 95 octane. Well, there you have it. 
Pretty sooty. Now the Kawasaki. So far, none of these have burned really clean other than the still. That looks like a face, a couple of eyes, a nose, yeah. that looks like a mouth there. Next is Aspen. And this is in a plastic bottle. Got some, some smoke coming off of there, not a lot. Not a lot of that soot. Wow. Yeah, that burned really clean. That burned clean. Now let's try the Red Max. About the same as the other ones. Yeah. Now, regular ethanol based, 10% ethanol based, 87 octane mixed with some two cycle mix. Pretty nasty. About the dirtiest. So I'd have to say out of all of these that we tested, these two burn the cleanest. Do you have any four cycle versions of this stuff that we could maybe do that little test with? I do have the Aspen and the VP that don't have any oil mixed in it. Should we burn burn a yeah, couple of them? Might as well. Pretty sooty. Looks pretty dirty on there. Now let's try the Aspen four cycle. It's probably a little bit more than I did on the other ones. Look at that. Burned a lot cleaner. Virtually no soot at all. 87 10% ethanol pump fuel. Ooh. We don't need that much. I want to wash your hand off before you light it. Take that over there. there.
Oh, this was pretty fun. You don't have any more tests we could do with this stuff, do you? Yes, there is one other test we can do. Really? It's called the peanut test. Oh yeah, like the peanuts that you eat? No. <gasps> Packing oh, peanuts. Cool. Styrofoam. What are we gonna do with those? We're gonna stick these styrofoam peanuts in a mason jar with all these different fuels in it. Okay. And see which ones eat them up and which ones don't. Oh, that'll be fun. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of anything like this before in my life. Oh, static electricity. So as you can see, he's packing peanuts. They've all dissolved, except for the one in the still. Look at that one, still good. That's dissolved. Yeah. That's dissolved. That's all dissolved. Oh, the one in the aspen, look, it's not dissolved either. Nice. Dissolved. So we have two that didn't affect the packing peanut. Now you're asking yourself, well tell us why. I don't know, I'm just a scientist. Okay, Slippers, the reason these peanuts didn't dissolve in the fuel over the other ones is these have very little aromatics in it, almost undetectable. These are alkali fuels, these two. So that's why they burn cleaner. They don't, they don't destroy uh, rubber and plastic as much. So there's, you know, three things you got to keep in mind, you know. The smell of it uh -huh. when you're running equipment. Do you want yeah, to smell like gasoline? Like breathing in all them fumes. You want to smell like, like fumes? No. It's good for your equipment. Yeah, I like that too. And it's better for the environment. Yeah, oh, yeah, I love that. That's great. So now uh, the main thing I really want to know is what's the difference in price between these two? I'm guessing they're probably pretty expensive, right? Well, 
This one is considerably cheaper than this one. Oh, really? Wow. And this one is more environmentally friendly because yeah, it's biodegradable. That. Great. Well, I think I know which one I'm going to go with. Ring me up for a couple of bottles, Terrell. And listen, and the name is clean sounding. Yeah. Aspen. That just permeates clean. It's a clean sounding name. At the time of the filming of this video, these are the only two alkalate fuels available in the United States.